I've got my hands on some of the best gaming headsets. In this video, I'm going to be telling you which ones will be the best for you. Now, not all gaming headsets are made to be great, everyone. And if you don't know some specific things to look for, you can end up with a headset that won't work well for your situation. So, I have options for every type of gamer. Also, this video isn't sponsored. There are all my honest opinions. I just had to get that out of the way. Now, one of the most popular gaming headsets for high-end performance is the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. It's comfortable, offers good battery life, and solid components to reliably produce a crisp, accurate in-game sound. It's great for most people, so for a lot of people, this will be the ideal headset. But it's not the perfect headset for everyone. Let me explain. It has a lightweight design that mostly is constructed from black plastic and it features memory foam padding on the headband and ear cups to remain comfortable, along with breathable fabric covering to dissipate heat over long periods of time. It uses a 2.4 GHz dongle that provides a dependable and low latency wireless connection, and it comes with a 3.5mm jack for wired listening, though it's not wirelessly compatible with Xbox systems. In addition, it has impressive battery life and can reliably deliver up to 24 hours of continuous playtime per charge, which is longer than some higher-end models like the Astro A50 I'll mention shortly. Under the hood, it utilizes Razer's 50mm Triforce Titanium drivers to deliver impressive all-around quality sound and a warm soundstage with powerful bass for in-game sound effects, good treble, and warm mids to fill in the blanks. In addition, it has an effective THX 7.1 surround sound feature to noticeably broaden the sound stage and deliver more accurate positional cues for effects like gunfire or footsteps. I also liked that it's compatible with the user-friendly Razer Synapse software, so you can adjust the sound to your liking, configure microphone settings, and more. But the Black Shark V2 does lack in some areas like high-end comfortability or convenience versus something like the Astro A50, which offers a powerful and immersive sound, good build quality, and a sophisticated design that's comfortable to wear. It offers a minimalistic design that features sturdy aluminum supports for additional impact resistance, plush memory foam padding with a breathable fabric covering, and a lightweight plastic build that won't weigh you down during longer gaming sessions. It can still deliver up to 15 hours of quality playtime on a single charge, and the charging dock is also very convenient, making it very easy to use. It also comes with intuitive controls, including a dial that lets you adjust the sound to balance the game and chat audio on the fly. It constantly delivers a clear balanced sound profile with a powerful low end response to add some rumble, a stunning treble response for dialogue or background music, and a warm mid range response to uncover subtle in game details. You also get Dolby Atmos audio support to improve its stereo image and provide a better sense of direction, along with the Astro Command Center software to customize your audio. While the Astro A50 provides a arguably clearer sound and more comfortable experience, I believe the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro is still the better option for most people. It offers a comfortable build, a longer lasting battery, similar surround sound performance, and comparable all around sound quality for nearly half the price. For anyone who wants a premium option that offers stellar battery life and top tier sound quality, I'd recommend the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro as the best overall gaming headset. It has a sophisticated aesthetic that features an elegant all-black design and a premium build with a metal headband, plush cushioning throughout, a breathable leatherette covering, and an adjustable ski goggle style headband to ensure you find an appropriate fit. It also offers outstanding battery to last through longer gaming marathons and can deliver up to 22 hours of continuous playtime per charge. And it comes with additional battery to swap in if you want to play for longer. Even more, it features an updated transmitter with two USB-C ports for your preferred peripherals, a slot to charge the battery, and a multi-purpose knob to adjust important settings. On the inside, it features high-fidelity drivers that produce stunning 10 Hz to 40 kHz frequency response range, which produces high-resolution audio and can accurately reproduce sub-bass level frequencies to add extra detail to your in-game sounds. It delivers a stunning sound performance with an outstanding low-end response that remains clear at higher volumes, stunning mids to add some texture to the sound, and crisp treble for voice work. So it's an excellent choice for serious or competitive online gamers. 
It also has an immersive built-in 360 degree spatial audio feature that further improves its sound imaging when locating positional cues to help give you a competitive edge. Even more, it has a retractable microphone that offers solid recording quality and built-in noise cancellation, and you can configure settings, select from preset listening models, or enable certain useful sound enhancements through the SteelSeries companion software. In contrast to cheaper models like the Razer Blackshark V2 Pro, it has a built-in active noise cancellation feature to eliminate noise, keep you focused, though it can be somewhat weak. Next up, I have a quality and affordable gaming headset that provides a comfortable fit, intuitive controls, and comparable sound quality to some more expensive options. The Logitech G Pro X is my choice as the best gaming headset available for the money. It has a minimalistic design that won't draw much attention and features a steel headband with aluminum forks to withstand daily use. Plush memory foam padding on the ear cups to deliver a tight seal and a breathable mesh and leatherette covering to help you stay cool during intense gameplay. It doesn't have a wireless design like the previously mentioned options, but the cord is braided for additional durability and offers near universal compatibility with gaming systems. It uses Logitech's 50mm Pro-G drivers to deliver a powerful and clear sound with respectable accuracy for the price. Overall, it produces a quality sound with warm mids and solid treble to deliver a satisfying listening experience. And while the low-end response isn't the most powerful, it can still deliver decent rumble to deliver more realistic in-game sound effects like explosions. You also get a built-in DTS 7.1 surround feature to add a significant sense of space and improve directivity to your game audio, along with integrated blue voice technology to deliver clear and more natural sounding voice recordings for your Discord or voice chat. Another solid and affordable alternative to consider is the HyperX Cloud 2. It features a lightweight build that's mostly made from plastic and it comes with a padded headband. Y-shaped metal struts to keep the components attached, and large oval ear pads with memory foam padding and clickable stops to find it a comfortable fit. Despite its affordable price, it also provides solid battery life. It can last for around 30 hours per charge to withstand just about any gaming or movie marathon. It comes with large 53mm drivers that can produce a reasonably neutral sound signature out of the box with a relatively powerful low-end response, solid trouble for subtle sounds, and a decent mid-range presence to fill in the blanks. It also offers 7.1 surround sound feature to deliver a more immersive gaming experience when needed, though it doesn't offer in-depth software support like some other competitors and lacks an adjustable EQ to customize the audio. In addition, you get a detachable Discord and TeamSpeak certified microphone with noise cancelling technology so you can be clearly heard. Even though the HyperX Cloud 2 offers quality performance, I believe the G Pro X provides better value for the price. It provides comparable build quality, near universal compatibility with gaming systems and comparable features and excellent all around sound quality at a more palatable price. If you saw something you liked, we have individual reviews on these products if you want to learn some more. Links for updating prices are in the descriptions, so if you want the best and most up-to-date pricing, check that out. Till next time, I'll see you folks in the next video.